بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اللہ خان ہیم and today we discuss the 4 bit adder alright 4 bit parallel adder and we do that by using a, a by using a, a full adders okay so the topic is a 4 bit parallel adder uh, using what? using full adders okay so now for addition let's say we have two numbers we have uh, two numbers a and b we have a number a we have a number b so they are four bits so i can i i, I write them as an a3 a2 a1 a naught and similarly b3 b2 B, B1 and B0. Alright, so let's say these are the two uh, four bit numbers and we want to add them. So, how do we add them? So, we see. Okay, so now over here we have a plus sign, so we're adding them. So, now they could be either the sum, the sum could either be a four bit. Or it could be a five-bit number, depending on depending on the uh, on the final carry. So we see. So in the first case, we don't have a carry, all right? We are adding a naught and b naught. So in this case, we have a carry input as zero. All right, of course, it will be zero. Now a naught and b naught. Let's say it results in an s naught. All right. And, and and it results and gives a carry C naught. So now the C naught will go where? It will be added to the next bit. Yes? Like this. So now A1 and B1 are added to give an S1 hour and generate a carry C1. Now this C1 is going to be added to the next bit. So A2, B2 is added to give an S2 and generate a carry C2. Alright, now what you do, that is C2 is added to, to the next bit. So now we have a 3B3 give a, added to have a C3, S3 and generate a carry C3. Now this C3 would go where? It would come over here, but over here we have a 0 and a 0. Alright, so this C3 will come directly over here. All right, so now the final sum, the sum in this case would be what? The final sum, it would be a C3, all right, S3, S2, S1, S0. So it would basically be a five bit sum. And then if this final carry is a zero, so we will have a four bit sum. All right, now how do we, we generate it, okay? So we use full adder for it. So in this case, we use four full adders. We use four full adders. Okay, this is the first. This is the second. This is the third. And this is the fourth. All right. Now, what are the inputs? The inputs are given in this way. The input to the first is uh, uh, we have two inputs to each of them. All right, these are the two inputs to each of them. So if that is the first, it's the least significant bit. We have an A naught and B naught given to it. A one, B one over here. Then we have A two, B two, and we have an A three, B three. All right, now what does it do? Uh, or, or, or let me write the full adder in it. Full adder. FA is representing full adder. All right. Now, previously, of course, in the very first one, we have a C, uh, the C in, but it would be zero, of course. Now, it, uh, full adder will operate on A naught and B naught to give us some S naught and to generate a carry 
C1, C0, which will go to the next full error, like this. This will also be an input, all right? Now, it will operate on these three, and it will generate uh, S1 and the carry C1. Now, this full adder will, 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 will operate on A2, B2, and C1 to give us some S2 and to generate a carry C2, which will now be to the final full adder, uh, treated as an input. So, now we have A3, B3, and C2 to the last full adder, and which will give the sum of S3, and it will give the final carry C4, which will be a part of the sum now. Alright, so this is how we design this 4-bit full adder. This 4-bit parallel adder comes in an IC package and the IC's name is 74HC283. 74HC283. This is what? This is the IC. IC is what? This is the integrated circuit. Alright, I hope you know it. If you don't, you will know it with the time, okay? This is the IC for what? For the 4-bit parallel adder. Now we have another representation for this 4-bit parallel adder as well, which I say I draw over here. All right, so this is enough space, I believe. Uh, this is the 4-bit full adder. Out of which we have two words, word A and word B. So we have four bits, one, two, three, four. This is a, a, a three, a two, a one, and a naught. And then we have the word, this is word A. A four bit word, all right, this is word A, let's say. Uh, okay. And then let's say we have over here a B3, B2, B1 and B0. Okay, this is another 4 bit. Let's say this is word B. Okay, this basically is a nibble. Uh, don't confuse it with that definition. It's, a word is 16 bit long. This is just representing that this is a word. This is anything, alright? And then we have what? We have, a K, we have the sum. So we have a S3, S2, S1, and S0. These are the outputs. And we have the carry output as the output, and we have the carry input as the input in this case. So this is another representation of this four-bit uh, parallel adder, right? Now we can also have an eight-bit adder. We can also have an eight-bit adder uh, uh, using the same method, the same technique, and then the design is what it's used by, by, by combining two 4-bit uh, parallel adders, all right, by cascading to the 74HC283 ICs. So we have, we have a brief go through to it, uh, through this 8-bit uh, adder also, and 8-bit. So now in case of 8-bit, you have an A, you have a B. This A would now be from A7 to A0, and this B would be from B7 to B0. So, and the sum now, the sum would be what? It would be again an S0, and we have a C1 generated, C0 is 0 again, and then in this case, uh, we have till S7 and we have a final carry of C7. So the final sum is this C7, S7 and so on. So we may have an 8-bit or a 9-bit sum depending on the final carry C7 in this case. Okay, so now you, you do what? You combine the uh, two 4-bit uh, parallel adders, okay, like this. Uh, okay, so now what do you do? First, the first scanning input is given to this, this parallel adder, and this would, would take inputs as what? As A0 to A3, and, and from B0 to B3. And it will generate a carry, it will generate a carry C3, 
alright and it will have the sums as uh, S0 to S3, alright. Uh, now the second, the second 4 bit adder, this is a 4 bit adder, alright uh, and this is also a 4 bit adder. So now this will take inputs from A, A4 to A7 and from B4 to B7 and it will give us sum of S4 to S7 and it will generate a final carry that is, uh, that is what, that is C7. So this is the final sum, the final sum would be what? It would be a C7, S7, S6, S5, S4, S3, S2, S1, S0. It could be an 8 bit if the C7 is 0, it could be a, 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 a 9 bit if the C7 is 1, okay? So that's all for this lecture, that's all about 4 bit parallel adder and an introduction to the 8 bit as well. So that's all for today, see you in the next lecture inshallah, in which probably we discuss the carry look ahead and roll line. So see you there. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.